two boys. One boy. At least one boy. No boys. What's your definition? You need to know how many outcomes are associated with that event and how many outcomes are in the what? Sample space. What's the setting? What's the setting? What's the experiment? Having two children. Sample space for having two children is what? Right here, is that right? Okay, we talked about that. How many outcomes are in that sample space? Four. Okay, good. So you know what the denominator is for each one of these questions? Four. So you're halfway there. Now, determine the number of outcomes associated with the event. The event is having two boys. We even answered that question already over here. How many outcomes are associated with having two boys? It's just the BB. How many? One. How many outcomes are associated with having one boy? Two. How many outcomes are associated with having at least one boy? Three. No boys? One. So tell me, we already determined those numerators, and what are they? What's this one? One, two, Three, one. What is one fourth as a decimal? 0.25. What is two fourths as a reduced fraction? What is it? It's one half. Do you have to reduce your fractions? Yes. All fractions need to be reduced to lowest terms. What's the decimal value? 0.5. 3 fourths. What's the decimal value here? 0.75. 1 fourth. What is it? 0.25. OK. Anybody have any questions on what we just did? Are you sure? Yes. So you have to figure out the first step. That would be the first step. Everything is just in the beginning, and then you can do the second step. Well, if they ask you the, a probability question, right? You're going to use your definition. So, in other words, in your definition, you need to know what the experiment is. They're telling you the experiment. You're going to have to deduce the sample space, and more importantly, how many outcomes are in that sample space. And then for the given event, you're going to have to determine how many outcomes are in that event and count them. So you're doing this process right here. It's a fraction. Okay, you guys OK with this? We're going to give you some more examples. For example, the roster problem. You're going to select a student at random what's the probability The student is, question one, a male, question two, a female.
I would say this is more of a triola-ish type of problem, although they both are, because you might see both. Um, but students look at this example and probability question, that's when they say, oh my god, I don't know what's happening here. Okay? So, what do you guys think? What's the setting or the experiment? They told you it's the roster, right? The roster situation. We already defined it for you. So, is this a probability question? Is it probability? How do you know? It says it. Is that right? So what do you need to know? What's your definition? It's the number of outcomes associated with the event divided by the total number of possible outcomes. We already answered these questions, right? What was N of S? 58, good. 58. Why is that N of S? You're selecting a student from that roster. Okay, how many different students are there? 58, is that true? So I can select any one of the 58, is that right? Now, how many of those students are 26? Is it 26? Do you guys know what that, what that is? What's this as a reduced fraction? I mean, here's a, you answered the question, good. But all our fractions have to be reduced. So what is that as a reduced fraction? Isn't that 13 over, over 29? Is that true? Is that right? So this is your answer as a reduced fraction. What is this approximately to the nearest tens, hundred, thousandths, thousandths as a decimal? 0 0.44 what? Eight. Zero point four four eight. Okay, anybody have any questions on how we got this? Notice this here. Note this. Have you guys seen any of this stuff sort of anywhere before? What is point four four eight as a percent? Remember, every decimal can be written as a percent. Every percent is written as a decimal. What's 0.448 as a percent? You want to know what this means? 44.8% of what? Of the roster of the class consists of who? Consists of males. Okay? Consists of males. This is the relationship between probability and that percent there. So in some sense, we could look at the roster and go, ah, 44.8% of the class are males. So if I close my eyes and try to pick a student at random, the likelihood that it's going to be a male, since it's 44.8%, is the decimal representation, 0.448. That's a probability. Okay? Notice something else. You guys want to know what some people say incorrectly as an answer? When you give them a roster situation like that, and they think, oh, you can either be a boy or a girl. Is that right? This isn't biology class. Maybe there's other options, and I don't even know what they are. But you can either be a boy or a girl. Sometimes people say, oh, the likelihood is one half. And that's wrong. Why is that? Every outcome is not equally likely here. The class consists of. 32 females and 26 males, they're not the same value. Isn't that what really happens in real life? If we took an account here of how many males and how many females here, are we going to get an equal number? No. 